All right, so one more example here, finding the slope of a tangent line uh, in polar form. So our last example here, part C, uh, we're going to find the slope of the tangent line to r equals sine of phi theta. And uh, we're going to do this at theta equals pi over 5. So again, uh, there's our nice little formula that we're going to fill in. So let's see here. Um, when we compute our derivative of y with respect to x, let's see if we can squeeze everything in here. Uh, when we take the derivative of y with respect to x, it says we have to compute the derivative of r with respect to theta. So when we take the derivative of uh, sine of 5 theta, we'll get cosine of 5 theta. But then by the chain rule, we'll have to multiply that by 5. So there's our dr d theta. And then it says just multiply that by sine theta. Plus, we'll take our r, which is sine of 5 theta. We'll multiply that by cosine of theta. And let's see. So we've got the derivative of r with respect to theta. So let's see. Again, that's going to be 5 cosine of 5 theta times cosine of theta minus r, which is going to be sine of 5 theta. And then we'll multiply that by sine of theta. So I think I got a couple values uh, here you would need a calculator. But okay, so all we have to do is plug in theta equals pi over 5. So that's going to give us 5 times cosine. Well, 5 times pi over 5 will just leave us with cosine of pi. And then we've got sine of pi over 5. Then we'll have plus sine of, again, I guess 5 times pi over 5 will leave us with sine of pi. And then we'll have cosine of pi over 5. In the denominator, we'll have 5 times cosine, again, of pi, when we multiply our 5 times pi over 5. And then we'll have cosine of pi over 5. Then we'll get minus sine of pi times sine of pi over 5. So now let's see if we can't evaluate all this stuff. Let's see, cosine of pi. Cosine of pi is going to equal, I guess, negative 1. We're multiplying by sine of pi over 5. Let's see, sine of pi is going to be 0, so that'll get rid of that term. Then in the denominator, again, we'll have 5 times cosine of pi, which is negative 1. We'll have cosine of pi over 5. And again, sine of pi is going to be 0. So let's see. We've got a negative 5 over a negative 5. We can cancel those out. And that's going to leave us with sine of pi over 5 over cosine of pi over 5. Again, um, you could always plug this into a calculator and simplify it. But that's now going to be the slope of our tangent line.